Franklin McKinley School District built this fence along the creek to protect about three different schools from any potential problems. So today, they're shocked, but not surprised. San Jose police officers spent their afternoon scouring a creek bed, looking for any more possible evidence of a thieves' gold mine. On Monday, this is what they found. Tons of stolen tools and trucks from a company called Sprig Electric. Police say that company was broken into just hours before. They found the vehicles, they found suspects, and additionally they recovered uh, a lot of what was taken yesterday, including some very expensive shotguns. They also found this, a sophisticated bunker with running electricity where police say the stolen goods were stashed. There's a lot of smart people living down there. You know, it takes a lot of skill, engineering, construction to build something like that. The creek has been a bone of contention for two nearby school superintendents who gave us a tour last year worried about student safety next to the growing encampments. Today we showed the bunker pictures to the Franklin McKinley superintendent. I don't think I, I'm shocked anymore. I'm certainly surprised, uh, especially of the weapons that were recovered and and sort of the sophisticated bunker that is down there. We're not even touching what, uh, how much pollution goes into that creek that's created uh, by this community. Pollution that includes abandoned cars parked in the middle of Coyote Creek. Tonight, a small business has all its tools back. Police have evidence to bag and tag, and school leaders are left worrying what else might be in the creek. In San Jose, Damian Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News.